Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a breakdown of what huge or like big, what I think is big and what I think you will think is big comics for Marvel are coming in October. So um, I have like a, I, I made like a calendar of what day things are coming on and then I'll be telling you. So first thing first, I'm just going to tell you the way Marvel works, I don't know why, I don't work with Marvel, the way Marvel works is they basically have like four main days in a month where all their comics come out on those four days. Um, and they're always Wednesdays. So those for this month are the third, which has already passed. So the 10th, the 17th, the 24th, and the 31st. So yeah, I'll be going through all of those and like the most I'm pretty sure is like the 31st. Well, that that that, that I think are uh, huge events. That has like eleven event, eleven big things. The seventeenth only has six. The tenth only has ten, and the twenty fourth, the other Wednesday, has nine. So, what, these are just what I think are huge. Tell me if I missed anything. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So we're gonna start off with the tenth, and on the tenth you have. Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, um, yeah, no, number, Amazing Spider-Man number seven, that's pretty straightforward, that's the one where apparently Boomerang is gonna, something happens with Boomerang, and then I, I read ASM, the new ASM is definitely not as good as Dance Lot, but you know, I love Dance Lot, so I might be biased, um, but Avengers number nine, I'm reading Avengers every time they come out. Avengers, 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 you know. Avengers is just awesome. It, it like Avengers is like like, you know, it's like that that it's like you have the Fantastic Four and like Captain uh, Captain America and like Iron Man. Like I'm not being mean to them and like Spider Man and stuff, but then you have the Avengers and I feel like this isn't quite as big as like bigger than like you can't really beat FF like right now you can't beat FF unless like Dance Lot did a terrible job but Dance Lot can't do a terrible job you know so um yeah Avengers number nine it's not quite as good as like other Avengers ones like Time Runs Out and stuff um but Avengers number nine definitely gonna read and it's named more so yeah that's exciting Iceman number two Iceman Knocked it out of the park. Like, really, I was not expecting to like Iceman, and I was just like, okay, this new Iceman comic is out, let me read it. And then I'm like, this is a good comic. You know, I, I forget who writes Iceman. I don't know. But, anyways, Iceman number two comes out on the 10th. You gotta get it. It's gonna be exciting. You know, it's um, Emma Frost, which is exciting. More Emma Frost. Emma Frost, right? Yeah. More Emma Frost. A lot more Emma Frost coming later. Um, that you have, oh wait, no, uh, I'm sorry, I'm incorrect, the 10th only has 8 days, I'm just on my calendar, there's some other stuff I'm doing, so, yeah, sorry, the 10th only has 8 huge events, that I think are huge events, but Immortal Hulk, um, Hulk number 7, I stopped reading Immortal Hulk, I started it, meh, it wasn't that good, I'd recommend it, but, it's not as good as like um totally awesome hulk the new the new hulk uh, what am i doing um but yeah mortal hulk number seven is coming out on the 10th uh, as well as um as well as infinity war number f infinity wars number four infinity wars oh my gosh infinity wars like oh my i think it's it is, let me remember who it is, Dugan, Jerry Dugan, I think, yeah, Infinity War, I'm more excited about Infinity Warps, because it's just such a, you know, combining these huge characters, like Soldier Supreme, Iron Hammer, these are mm, so good, but, like, Infinity Wars is just, like, I don't know, it just feels like Thanos is dead, Gamora killed Thanos. Spoiler alert. I literally just spoiled like all of, like, one? Yeah, all of 
issue one. Most people have read issue one. But look, Gamora killed Thanos. Thanos is dead. The Infinity Watch is reformed. And now, Gam like, Gamora is evil, but not real. And, like, I got issue three, was it? And that was good. But basically what I'm reading right now, my three biggest hits, Avengers, Infinity Wars, Kind of spider geed on, but not like as big as these. And then Fantastic Four. Like, fa FF, we'll get to FF later. Um, actually, no, I forgot to say. FF was going to be on the 17th. FF, Fantastic Four, number three was going to be on the 17th. But for some darn reason, I guess because, like, if you don't know, uh, issue five is going to be. Um, this is kind of spoiler for issue one, if you haven't read it. Because I know it's kind of huge. Um, ben and um, Alika. Or whatever. Um, and like the thing that I really think I hope Dan Slott isn't just like trolling us or whatever. Because he said this is not going to be an X-Men world. This is not going to be a scroll. This is real. And like they actually said like on the the, the, the thing for Fantasy Four number five is coming out on December twenty sixth. But anyways, it says the wedding that's been years in the making. Ben and Alika say, "I do." No bait, no switch, not a dream, not a hoax, and we swear, not a single scholar. You know. So I hope you're not just showing us. It kind of seems like it, but um, yeah. But like that's not why I think it was gonna always be on December twenty sixth. I think, but I think it's because Fantasy Four wedding special is coming out. December 12th, so, I don't know, it's kind of weird that, but they delayed it from the 17th, October 17th, to November 14th, but luckily, Fantasy Four number 4 is coming out on November 28th, so two in one month, which is really exciting, um, I, if, if, if two are coming out in one month, I'm happy, you know, as long as they didn't delay, like, the 5th to, like, January or so, yeah, um, but yeah, that's gonna be exciting, yeah. But I'm just really disappointed they delayed it. But yeah, we won't be talking about Fantasy Four then. But anyways, Infinity Wars, yeah. Infinity Wars number four. This is the first comic where the Infinity Warps are actually going to do something, I think. Um, but yeah, we're going to realize we're in this warp world. We need to, like, get him, you know. And then spider Gidon number one. Like, spider Gidon. I don't know. Like, spider I feel like this is kind of because, you know, we're getting Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, um, what well, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, like, Spider-Ham, Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Gran, the other girl, um, in December of the movie, so I think they're kind of trying to hype it up, but, I don't know, spider Gidon, it's kind of exciting, um, but yeah, I, I like, I like Spider-Man, so yeah, it's, it's good. Um, so yeah, that issue one comes out on the 10th, which is pretty exciting. And then What If Punisher, I think it's pretty good. Um, it, it's actually What If Peter Parker was Punisher. So it's, it's, it's really cool. It comes out on the 10th also. But last not, but not least, we have X-Men Black number 10. Uh, X-Men Black Mojo. Um, I don't know why I said number 10. But yeah, X-Men Black Mojo. I, I like X-Men Black, you know, all these colors, like, you know, X-Men Gold, I think there's an X-Men Silver, no, X-Men Red, X-Men Black, X-Men Blue, you like, I only read, I read Magneto's, which came out in the third, X-Men Black, Magneto, really great comic, um, I read Magneto, I, I stopped reading Gold after the wedding, I think everyone stopped reading Gold after the disaster that was the wedding, you know, um, but yeah, and then we have to wait a whole week until we get our next stuff, and this, the 17th, not as much stuff, but a lot of good stuff, first we have Daredevil 609, the start of death of Daredevil, and, um, I haven't read every single comic, if you if you want to read this, I'd recommend actually starting out at 595, Daredevil 595, with, uh, um, Mayor Fisk story arc because actually the start is actually terrible like I started it 
like I started it a while ago and I'm just like this is terrible and then I heard about this and I'm like okay maybe I'll read it and then I'm like this is actually like the I don't know but just the the um the art style is really like this stuff is like woo, bad but yeah um I'm not sure when it gets good cuz I didn't want to read until you know it gets good but 5.95 is like Mayor Fisk is really good um so yeah, 609. Get it on the 17th. It's pretty good. I think it's going to be pretty good enough. I still haven't changed this. It still says Fantastic Four number 3. Like, I already marked down, like, from the 4th. But I'm going to have to change everything because they delayed it. Darn it. Um, luckily... Yeah, luckily, 2 in 1 month, right? 2 in 1 month. But then, Mr. and Mrs. X... This is the 17th. Mr. and Mrs. X, number four. Man. Like, I think I missed a Mr. and Mrs. X, but Mr. and Mrs. X. Actually, did I? Because the first one, and then the first Deadpool, and I think there's two Deadpools. So, yeah, I don't think I missed one. But, anyways, yeah. X, Mr. and Mrs. X, is actually really good. And I, I'm kind of glad they did it. I actually kind of... I, I'm, I think I'm happier that they did this instead of Colossus and, um, what's her name? Kitty Pride. Um, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. X is really good. And then The Life of Captain Marvel number four. M Life of Captain Marvel is a generally, it's, it's, a, it's a good comic. It's a little confusing, like, the third one was confusing, I think. Um, I'm probably going to read this, but yeah. That's coming out. And then Weapon Hex. We're starting out another warp. Weapon Hex. This is like, um, it's kind of confusing that, um, they didn't put, um, Infinity Wars number four at the end of the month so that they, we could read all of the Infinity Wars because, like, we haven't even seen Weapon Hex yet and, like, She's on the cover of Infinity Wars number four. Um, but yeah, Weapon Hex is a mash between X-23, of a female Wolverine, as some call her, and um, Scarlet Witch. So, pretty exciting. And then finally, we finish off the 17th with X-Men Black, how do you say that, Mystique, number one. And um, yeah. Another X Men Black. I don't know Mystique at all. I didn't even know she was a villain until like X Men Gold number twenty thirty. What what did, what was the wedding? Thirty five. Yeah, so like thirty six or something like that. Um, or maybe it was twenty five and then twenty. But anyways, yeah, I didn't know she was a villain until like they they were like, "You're not gonna kill us all now," and that's when I was like, "Oh, she's a villain." Um. So yeah, little, little, pretty cool. And then on the 24th, lots of stuff going on the 24th. First of all, Amazing Spider-Man number eight. Like I said, Amazing Spider-Man is a really, it's, it's a good comic, not as good as Dance a Lot. Hard to compete with Dance a Lot Spider-Man. Um, but yeah, Amazing Spider-Man number eight. And we, I barely know anything about this. Um, I think it was just revealed at NYCC. Or maybe before on YCC Bay. Like, I'm not sure when they showed up a cover first. Um, but also, and then Infinity Wars, Soldier Supreme, number two of two. I, I, I like Soldier Supreme more than Iron Hammer. Um, so, I'm kind of sad that it's, like, ending. I, I wish they, like, I hope, I know they won't because, like, there's no, there'll be no Doctor Strange and no Captain America, but I kind of wish they keep these guys because it's just so awesome to have merged characters in. And, like, I could see them, like, doing one of those coloring books and then, like, you know, like, draw, color your own Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever, color your own Infinity Wars, so they could call it. And then, like, at the back, you could make your own. It, it would be pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. But also on the 24th, Infinity Warps, Arch Knight, um, 
Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a little weird that they're calling it Oats Night instead of like Spider Night because like, um, it's a like a merge of Spider Man and um, um, the White Guy Moon Knight. Yeah. So it's a little, little weird that they're calling it Oats Night because like, what's the Oats from? You know. I think that's what they're calling it. Um. Oh, I put this in, but um. Also, just just a little fun mention. Marvel Battle Lines comes out on the 24th, the app, so, yeah, it looks kind of good. The card, like, app, um, looks pretty good. But anyways, Spider Gidon number two, Spider Gidon. Um, it looks really good, like, the cover. You have to, you have to see the cover. It's like, um, he's, like, killing everyone. It's, it's, it's like, wow, man, like, what is got, like, it just makes you really want to read the comic. And I think that's good advertising for Marvel. Like, it just makes you like, what is going on? He's killing everybody, you know? And then Spider Gold's number one of three. Um, so these are all, basically all the Spider Gidon tie-in. So Spider Gold's number one of three comes out on October 24th. And then Spider Gwen, Ghost Spider also comes out on the 24th. And then also you got X-Men Black, Juggernaut, Jugger is that right, Juggernaut, number one, this is probably what I'm most excited about because like, I don't know, Juggernaut is just like, he's just an interesting character, so yeah, I'm excited for that. And then you also, at the very end of the month, Halloween is a packed night, you got Avengers the Halloween special, um, that's funny. I, I wrote Avengers Halloween Special number one, and like when you click on it, oh wait, does it do that? No, it doesn't. Just when you write Halloween, I guess, it has a background that's like spooky themed. It's really cool. You should try it. That's weird. Um, but yeah, Avengers Halloween Special, I want to know what's going on, and that looks, it might just be kind of like a fun little nod that it's Halloween and you don't have to read comics all day. You can go out with your kids or get some candy or whatever, but, um, yeah, maybe there will actually be some plot points that lead to Avengers, what is it, number seven, um, but yeah, and then we have Black Panther number five, I don't read Black Panther, it's a little confusing, I think, it's a little more mature, but, um, yeah, Black Panther number five is coming out on the 31st, and then you also have Daredevil number 610, Death of Daredevil, part 2, so yeah, you are going to want to read this, um, it's going to be an interesting one, and like I said, I'd recommend starting at 595, for all you guys out there, start at 595, um, then you also have Extermination, is that right, I started reading it a couple days ago, and... It's really confusing. It's not that good. Definitely not as good as like. It's not even as good as. Um, it's not as good as Death of X. Not as good as Inhumans vs X Men. It's not that good. You also have Infinity. I'm um, basically the thirty first. Infinity Works Iron Hammer number two, part two of two. So that's the final Iron Hammer. Um, yeah. I think this, these are all going to be about personal, and then the Avengers ones are when it's like, set in the future, because like, like not set in the future, not set in the future, but like, Infinity with the Iron Hammer and stuff, that's when like, he tr number one is when he turns in, and I think this is like when he fights off uh, Hela, or whatever her name is, um, and then, in the Avengers one, it's going to be like, but now they're going out into the main Marvel Universe and, like, killing off Gabor or whatever they do, you know? And also, um, I think at NYCC, yeah, NYCC, or maybe on just a panel, like, uh, one of those, uh, the best show ever or whatever it's called, um, um, from my, on YouTube, um, they, they, the, the, the creator of it was like, 
there's more, and well, first of all, we got Duke Pool. I don't know if that was just a joke or Duke Pool is a thing. Um, and then we also got Emma Frost and Logan, which is like Diamond Patch or something. And then we also, um, I think that's all, but I think it would be cool if they, like, there's so many heroes, like, they could do, like, a, I don't know, they could really, like, let, let's think about this for a second. Star-Lord and Drax? Groot, Groot and, like, Groot? I know, Groot and Black Widow. Oh, no, they should do, and all the villains, like, get emerged and stuff, you know? There's, like, there could be a lot more heroes, and I want to see them. But anyways, yeah, Nintendo's Iron Hammer comes out on the 31st, and I don't think they're going to do anything about Infinity Wars. Like, I think this is like Infinity Wars, but, like, that's what I was trying to say. This is not going to be part of Infinity Wars. Like, this is just a tie-in. This is not really a tie-in. This is just, like, a spin-off of Infinity Wars. And then you also have Marvel 2-in-1 number 11, and, like, they're back together, so now it's, like, um... Mr. Fantastic and The Thing. I kind of wish they just did a Thing solo run because The Thing is like my favorite of the FF. But yeah, I, I like 2 in 1. It's, it's, a, it's pretty good, but yeah. Spider Force number 1. Woo woo Spider Force. Spider Force looks really, really good. Like really good. In my opinion at least. I think it's going to be a great, great comic, like a really great comic, because um, it just is like a team of Spider-Man, like it's like Spider-Man, but, but not Spider-Man, you know, um, so yeah, I, I think, I think it's going to be a good one, and then you also have Tony Stark, I, oh yeah, I forgot about this, Tony Stark Iron Man, um, number five, I, I liked Tony Stark Iron Man, I think, like, it's dance law, obviously, I like it. But I think there's a lot that's going on, you know. Now the Bravo is in, and, like, you have, like, the love interest, Wasp. You got Rhodey. You got, like, all of these guys. Yeah, you got all of these people, and I think it's just a really interesting comic. I think it's more about, like, the dialogue than the action. The uh, action. I think that's what da dance law is better at, is, um at dialogue than like full-on explosions and like action and stuff and that's what I always like think is that dialogue in the comic is more important than action because like you can't have great action in a comic you know like because you can't see the felt story like you could like it would be like it would be like a stop motion you know it wouldn't be like it would be like because you can't, like, move an image, you know? <clears throat> so that's why dialogue is more important in comics, because um, you can't see the full story, you know? And he did a really good job of that in Tony Stark Iron Man. And I'd like to see more of these, like, kind of... So, not really so awkward, but, like, um, like, a person story comic instead of like a bunch of like explosions and fist fights like we could just have like a person's life you know when they're not fighting off guys you know and I think that's like kind of what Tony Stark Iron Man is doing and then you have Vault of Spiders number one of two it looks pretty good um like it basically everyone is here like every Spider-Man ever is here so like it's gonna be pretty epic um and then finally to finish off Wednesday the 31st, we have X-Men Black, Emma Frost, number one, and, um, whew, um, this is not that exciting, but I don't know much about Emma Frost, so this is really going to be, like, big for me, you know, um, yeah, it, it's going to be, it's going to be exciting, you know, um, so yeah, that's basically everything that's coming out in October, um, and, it's not going to be Fantastic Four number three, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Bye!